Turnbull government is determined to attack particularly family friendly conditions that women's community rely on. Let's take one of the members, Louise. Louise works for the Department of Human Services. She has three children. She hasn't had a pay rise in three years. Her conditions are under attack. She has to work family friendly hours so she can do the school run and pick up her children. But Turnbull government is trying to force an agreement onto her that means she can that her family responsibilities. The work that Louise does is really important. She helps make sure that people, mainly women, get the right amount of child support payments. All she wants to do is turn up to work and do a job, but the town will not do that. Another example, we're campaigning for family violence leave. So women in the public service who are dealing with really hideous situations are able to do what they need to get back women. Oh, Absolutely disgusting. But not only does the Turnbull government to women's conditions, what they're actually doing is undermining our ability to quality public services to the Canberra community. They're cutting selling, they're cutting Medicare, they're cutting the statistics in the tax office. All of these huts are terrible for women and our members will not stand for that. The government may have all the resources, all the lawyers, advisors and spinners of power, but they don't have what we have. People like you, women, women who are willing to stick together, to stand up for each other and fight for a fit to fight for the right to health care, to fight for the right to walk safely in our streets and quality places. Australia, that 
just exist somewhere else. And the best thing we have today is that we have so many people to them. We can our history. We can see Eric Tom. We can see Nelson Mandela. We see Martin Luther King Jr. We see Frank Delano Roosevelt. We see Dolores Ware. Women 
now to the right vote. Shortly after the average was women are marching on Century ago, So let's march together today the respect that we all deserve. Indigenous women have not been able to vote in this year. Now, practically, black women didn't get the vote until 2060s as well. Thank you, Zan. Next up, we have a question representative, education officer, Australian National University. Of women being from education as an open issue, one that our system as well as truly left behind. Of course, they do in sale and nature, but, but some of these barriers remain in our society. They take cell phones. They take the form of rampant sexism in our residential colleges. Just last year, a, an a new student came forward with a story. For a woman's Thank you. 
You wanted to say something? No? Okay.
good. <laughs>